I just want to do a quick review today um, for a holster specifically for the CZ Shadow 2 Compact. What you see right here. Um, there is not a ton of options specifically for the Shadow 2 Compact out there, at least not when I purchased this, which wasn't that long ago. I know these particular firearms can be still somewhat hard to even get a hold of, okay? So I just wanted to point uh, point that out real quick. But um, just to show you real quick, I'm not playing with a loaded firearm. This is the Phalanx from Slim Fit Holsters, Okay. Uh, this is your wedge. Flip it around here. Here goes your, uh, I picked a foamy clip. This is plastic. Um, you can change the coloring and all that. They have a couple different um, options um, for clips. Uh, um, so I believe they start at, for basic black, um, is 80 bucks. So I believe if you're going to get something from Slim Fit Holster, I believe starting price is in the $80 range. Um, I do know when you select the uh, mod wing, it seems like you're forced to take the wedge. Now, that was on the website. Maybe I overlooked something. I don't normally go with a wedge, but I didn't mind it. I don't have any issue with it. This is actually a really comfortable holster. So if you're looking for a holster for CZ Shadow 2 Compact, I highly recommend this holster. Now, I'm going to get into a little bit more why, but this is extremely well-made holster i have no complaints uh the fitment is good here let me show you here real quick okay so it fits in there real good and um you get as you probably heard earlier and you know for those that really care about that which i kind of do is you get a nice positive audible retention click so when you holster this gun, comes out pretty easy, not hard. Bam, right there. Okay, so that's that's really nice. Um, as far as the inside, you probably, I don't know how well you can see. We don't have any burrs. You can see that they do a good job. I believe the average lead time at the moment is probably around two to three weeks. Um, but they are a little bit on the more expensive side. Okay. Like I said, starting at 80 bucks, um, so not the cheapest option. But if you're looking for a good quality holster, I recommend it. But uh, yeah, starting at 80 bucks, um, they have various colors. Um, they probably have um, I, I can't even remember if it was carbon options. I'm not sure about. You can probably do patterns. I'm sure most of the holster companies all do the same thing when it comes to colors and, and patterns. Um, I just went with the orange here, just just so I varietize my coloring of holsters a little bit. Um, but it's a really nice holster, okay? You can choose the coloring for these, I believe, as well. I think the hardware, if I recall correctly. Don't quote me on that one, though. I and mean, you can see right here, they put their logo here, Slim Fit Holsters. Real nice holster, extremely comfortable. Um, I believe they all come... Um, off the cut, uh, double check the website if you do go to look at it. But yeah, again, if you're looking for a holster for your CZ Shadow 2 Compact holster that's well made, no burrs, high quality, the price isn't completely outrageous. They do have one with the um, where you can get the uh, sidecar as well. I know a lot of people like to run the sidecar, I usually don't, um, but that option is there as well. There's not a whole lot further I can add. It, it's high quality, usually three weeks or less. Probably took me between two to three weeks to get mine. Um, price is not not bad. There's not a lot of options for the CZ Shadow 2 Compact. Compact. There's a couple. Um, and if you're looking for one, I recommend Slim Fit Holsters. And honestly, um, like I, my go-to is Vetter, okay? So a lot of times I look at Vetter before I look at anyone else. But if I had some other firearms, you know, that maybe if Vetter didn't have, I would definitely, this would be a company I would look at as an alternative option. I'm not saying that Vetter is necessarily better than this because this is, you know, holsters, you know, this is about as well-made as you can make it. I guess I really don't have any issue with this holster. I, I carry the Shadow 2 Compact every once in a while. Comfortable. It, this gun's a little on the heavy side. Honestly, I was 
playing football with my uh, nieces and nephews, uh, and I had this holstered. I had this on my waist the whole time. It doesn't move. You know, you have a good belt, you tighten it up. It's, it, it's, you hardly even notice it's there, okay? And like I said, I believe this is like the only, one of the few holsters I have at any rate that has a wedge on it. And this does not make it uncomfortable or anything like that. If anything, it probably helps with comfortability. But typically I don't bother with wedges, but it does come with one. It seems like that's just what they do. When you get a mod wing, it comes with a wedge, okay? So if there's anything that maybe I missed or overlooked, uh, just post a question down in the comment section. I just like to get at these videos on holsters because I like to look, you know, for holsters, specifically for a certain gun where people recommend if they have any complaints, if they had any interaction with customer service. I haven't, there was no issues at all, so I didn't have any run-ins with customer service. So I can't speak on that, um, but I can tell you they make a quality product. So again, if there's any other questions, just post them up and I'll get back to them ASAP. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.